In the previous video, we have implemented a way to create rooms at the end of our corridors. But sometimes there are corridors with dead ends created and this isn't a very good solution uh, to make player wander through the corridor to end up at a dead end. So we want to prevent it by finding those dead ends and ensuring that we place a room there as well. So what we can do is let's go to our scripts folder and let's open our corridor first dungeon generator. Generate. What we will want to do is slide to where we are creating our corridor. Generate. Now here in our corridor first generation method, after we create rooms, we may want to find a dead end positions. So let's create a list of vector to int. Let's call it the dead ends equals. Let's call a method and uh, let's create a method called find all dead ends. And we are going to pass here our floor positions before we add to those our room positions since this will give us a smaller number of floor positions to check. Now the method was created just below. Again we are going to simply loop through each of those floor positions so let's create a list of vector to int. Let's call it dead ends equals new list and we are going to look for each bar position in our floor positions great now here we are going to call int neighbors count equals zero so if we look through each direction create a new position in this direction and check against the floor positions if this new neighbor position is not in floor positions hashed, it means that near this floor position there is no neighbor in this direction. So if we have only a neighbor in only one direction, then we know that we have found a dead end. So what we want to do is for each, we want to look for each var direction in our direction 2d.cardinal directions list here. What we'll want to do is check if our floor positions contains the tile in the position of the current floor tile plus the direction. If it uh, contains a floor in, in, this in this direction, we are going to add neighbors count plus plus. And if we find a position which has only one neighbor, then we can add it to our dead end's positions. So if neighbor after looping through each direction so cut it out and paste it after this second for each statement if neighbor count is equal to one because this is the only possibility we are going to add to our dead ends add this position so this floor cell is a dead end and we can find out those dead ends and then we can create their rooms so let's return our dead ends list here great let's slide up so here we have our lists of dead end points now we have our room positions that we have created and dead end positions so we want to create a new method create rooms at dead end so as i have mentioned previously i want to always create rooms at dead ends even if they are above the percent that we set here. Now we can tweak this algorithm, but for now we are going to do this in a simple way. So create rooms at dead ends need to have the dead ends positions as well as the room positions, since maybe the dead end already is present in the room positions hash set, meaning that a room already connects to this position, so this is not a dead end. But otherwise, we are going to create a new room at this point. So we do not have this method, alt enter and generate this method in our class. It should be generated just below. So all we need to do is loop for each bar position in dead ends 
and if our room positions dot contains our position is equal to false this means that our room positions or our our room floors so maybe we should uh, call it room floors instead of room position so let's control r r and call it room floors so if no room is touching this position this means that uh, the position is representing a real dead end so here we want to call var room floor equals we want to call run random walk well, the same that we have called inside our uh, create rooms so we want to call run random walk and we want to give it a position as i believe this is the first parameter no this is the parameter so random walk parameters and the second will be the position of our dead end and this creates a new room for us so all we need to do is call room pos uh, floors dot union with then we want to add the room floor positions okay so maybe let's rename it to be simply a room since we may get confused okay so now we have created rooms at the dead ends as well so now let's save it and since we are calling it before we make a union of floor positions with our room positions this will simply add to our room positions the room uh, at the dead end so let's save it let's go back to unity great now we should not see those dead ends appearing let's select our corridor first dungeon and let's generate it a couple of times and as you can see i'm going to change the gizmo here there are no dead ends or dead ends doesn't appear anymore there are long corridors of course but beside this it should all work pretty nice and we can set the corridor length to be something bigger so we can achieve those separate room creation and of course we are starting at the point zero zero and there is no telling where our random generation will lead this dungeon so this is the second algorithm that we have implemented and the last one that we will want to check is the binary space partitioning algorithm that will allow us to first the specify the area that we want to divide into rooms then create rooms and at the end connect them with corridors so the binary space partitioning algorithm will be used for the corridor uh, for the rooms first approach and this is what we are going to start implementing in the next video see you there